Linktree tutorial, how to use Linktree for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'll show you guys how you can build your own Linktree and how you can place all of your links in one place. Linktree can be especially helpful if you are a online personality and influencer and you're trying to get all of your links in one place. So whenever people are searching for your Amazon storefront or your other social media profiles, they are easily able to find them all in your Linktree. The reason for making a link tree usually is because you're limited to putting only one link in your bio and you might want to promote multiple different things or you might want to list all of your social media accounts over there and that can be really inconvenient if you can't link them. With Linktree, it provides you with a space where you can link everything all together and allows you to create a really visually appealing space at that. So let's get started. To get started on Linktree, simply head on over to linktr.ee and click on sign up for free. Once you click on sign up for free on the top right, you're going to proceed with either your email or you can sign up with Google or Apple as well. Over here, I'm just going to proceed with my email address because this is the email I want to use to create my link tree and you're going to type in a suitable password click on create account once you click on create account link tree is going to ask you to choose your username so this is really important this is what is going to be shown which is going to be used as the link so usually you want this to be your brand name or your influencer name so for me i just want it to be lily davis now this is already taken so my i might have to be a little creative and lily.davis is also taken so let's try again lily underscore davis is also taken so I might have to include something different. So the Lily Davis. Now this is available. So I'm going to click on continue over here. And once we click on continue, we're going to move on to our next step, which is to get started with our account information. So for your registration, Linktree is going to ask you what plan you want to use. The free version of Linktree allows you to add as many links as you want. However, the starter version allows you to include more style options, create monetization support, scheduling, and audience insights. And then the pro version has other features as well. So we're going to be proceeding with the free version and we're going to click on join for free. On the top right, I'm just going to skip the template and content and I'll show you guys how you can do all of this in one simple section. So from here, I'm going to click on continue editing. And one thing to note is that you do have to verify your Linktree account whenever you create it. So over here, I'm just going to verify my email address with Linktree so I can sign in and proceed. Now, this is what your Linktree dashboard is going to look like. On the right, you get a preview of what your Linktree looks like. So we're going to get started by adding our links and then we're going to move towards the appearance. On the top, you can add a header. So you can add a headline title, which might be Amazon Faves like this. We can add that over here. Or if you want, you just might want to do a announcement related to your brand. You can add that over here as well. Then you can click on add link over here. Once you click on add link, you will have multiple different application options as well. So you can go on ahead and directly go with a Instagram link, a Twitter link, a YouTube link, or you can manually type it out as well. So I am just going to name this Instagram and then I'm just going to add my Instagram URL. I'll just copy that from here and then I'm going to paste that over here like so this is my profile url which i'm going to add like so so just like that i have added my instagram on the top now you guys will see whenever you select a particular social media platform it provides you with different link settings so if you want to directly display the url if you want to display instagram posts and profiles display only the reels and then you can also choose a classic effect where it's, you know, laid out 
or you can also set a featured effect. So the featured effect or layout allows you to create a larger version of one particular link, but I'm gonna keep it standard. Now, moving on, I might want to add the next section, which is my Amazon favorites. Now, keep in mind that you can move things around like this. So I can actually move the Amazon favorites on top, but I want to list them down below, below my actual social media accounts. Then I can click on add link and I'll just go on ahead, pick any product from Amazon and I'll just copy that. And I will add that link over here, click on add. And now the link is going to be added and I'm going to add sunscreen or let's say this is my La Roche Jose sunscreen like this. And then I can move this below the Amazon favorites header just so it's easier for people to navigate through my link tree. Once you have proceeded with your links, you can get started with the appearance. Now on the left, you have the option for the shop. Now in this, you can actually add products that you're selling. So this is a dedicated shop section, which allows you to set up your affiliate links, set up any products that you're selling. So you can add your products over here. This is up to your personal preference, although some legislature and certain places might make it mandatory for you to disclose that this is an affiliate. And to do that, you can just add it in the shop section. After that, you have your appearance, which is one of the most important parts. Now, this is what our link tree looks like. The first step we're going to do is upload our own image like this. And you can just click on this over here and you're going to upload the picture you want to use for your link tree. And I'm just going to crop this out a little. You can use your brand logo if you are a brand. You can use your personal picture if you are a influencer. And once we've done that, we can move towards the bio. So I have makeup and, or let's say, learn everything, makeup and more like this. And then below that, I have social icons that I can also add. So if you want, you can add, you know, other social media platforms that you are linking to, but I'm just gonna go directly to our appearance and we're gonna go into the theme now. In your themes, you have a lot of different themes that are only available for the premium users. And you also have the option to create your own with these backgrounds, or you have some pre-made templates that you can use. This is totally up to your personal preference, how you want to structure that. But I'm going to go with a flat color and a customized version. I'm going to change the color. I want to use a pastel color scheme. So we're just gonna select a light pink like this. I'm gonna to lean towards a warmer pink over here. After that, I have the type of button I want to use. I can select that, the shadows, the colors, as well as the fonts. Once everything is complete, I can click on share on the top right. And once I click on share, I can open my link tree to preview it. And I can then copy this link and I can add this to all of my social media platforms or anywhere where I want to display all of these links all together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.